Luther Lyle is more knowledgeable about Cherokee history uh, in the upstate than anybody I know. And he has applied that to building relationships with the Eastern Band of the Cherokee and uh, local landowners in Oconee County. I taught school for 32 years, and in those years, when, whenever we had a textbook adoption, they very seldom got the story right about us here in the upstate. And so now folks can come in and actually see documentation of what the Cherokee were like and what they still are like. We are the only Native American museum in South Carolina. When you have cultural historical sites like this, any archeological or anthropological digs or excavations, those artifacts may be relocated to other places, sometimes other states. In this case, anything discovered at Oconee Town will remain in Oconee and will be at the Cherokee Museum. As you were uh, growing up, you probably found arrowheads and things out in the fields or along the river banks or lakes. I did too, and I was fascinated by that and the fact that they had lived here for so many thousands of years before the white man came and they had a culture here. It's amazing when you think about how long they have actually lived here and how long we, the white man, has lived here. Our first major contact with anyone, any, any personnel in Upstate Forever is when we helped save Stump House, when the uh, the option of purchasing the Oconee Town property uh, came about. I worked with the same people to help save the site of Oconee Town. Conservation easements typically take a year or two, sometimes longer, to come to completion. In the case of Oconee Town, uh, this easement took 11 years, and that would have never happened without the help of Luther Lyle and his support and his perseverance. It's important to protect places like this and it's especially important to display them uh, for the public to see in museums to learn more about our background and more about our history and more about the upstate in general. Our mission is to protect uh, the cultural aspects as well as the natural resources of our upstate areas and this is an example where we we protect a lot, from the cultural to the historical to the natural um, to the scenic. It's, it's all here in Oconee Town. I think it's important to everyone. Uh, it's important to me because of what, uh, what we all are doing to help save the special places here in the upstate. Uh, if it wasn't for, for upstate forever, I don't know who would, would build those shoes.